but someone named it fighting fear. I mean, I wouldn't call it that. Um, and actually fear is, you know, maybe I'll talk a little bit about my experience in fear. Um, I wouldn't put fighting and fear to, together. So the one thing, if I was to share with you, the one thing is this, that our external world is a representation, is a mirror of our internal world, right? And, and when we make little shifts internally, it starts to have a ripple effect externally. And that's the kind of basis of all of this work that we're doing. The other fundamental basis of this work is that, you know, you might not need to change anything outside of you. Because actually it's kind of the same principle. It's like you might not need to change anything outside of you. As a matter of fact, nothing outside of you probably has to change. None of the people outside of you, none of the situations outside of you, none of the things outside of you has to move around. But everything will be different when you change your perspective, when you change where you're coming from, when you change, when you shift something internally, a different you will show up in those situations. So the external, whether it's people or place or time or situation, has to, no choice, has to respond to you differently. Right? And um, what I was going to share before was the other fundamental principle of this work is that See, most times we come into, you know, programs, courses, seminars, trainings, whatever, in, in the guise that, because that's kind of, you know, how we've been trained, thinking that we need to add more, I need to learn more. Like maybe you're even coming into this talk to gain more, right? To add more knowledge, I need more steps, I need more strategies, I need more tools. And yes, yeah, sometimes we do, but that's about 20% or less of the actual work that is to be done. 80% or more, 80% or more is actually what's going on internally, not just mentally, psychologically, also emotionally, also in our body, so in our inner world. So said differently, again, I guess a slightly different way of saying it is that you don't have to move too many pieces outside of you. You don't need to accumulate more. See, we come from this, this kind of thought that, oh, I, I'm missing something. I need more. I need more tools. I need more strategies. I need more knowledge. But actually, we have enough knowledge. And as a matter of fact, we not only have too much knowledge, we depend on knowledge too much. So much, so it's like our reality is based on knowledge, right? So, oh, uh, I don't understand that enough, so mm, I can't trust that. Now, I'm not saying blindly, stupidly trust and believe everything, right? Like, you wouldn't walk down a dark alley at three or four in the morning, when you know that alley is dangerous. That's stupid. That's silly. Right? That's, I'm just giving it as an analogy for something that we do in life. It's like, you don't just blindly trust everything. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm talking about is, a lot of times if we pay attention, and in order to pay attention, you need to get present first, and I'm going to talk about that. That's step one of the process. When we start to pay attention, you will have a feeling or a sense or a knowing that something is safe, that something is okay for you to trust. That's what I'm talking about, right? But a lot of times when it comes to those things, there's something within us like a protection mechanism that goes, whoa, 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 not yet. I don't trust this. I can't trust this. Are you sure? Oh, I need more information. I need more knowledge. I need more understanding. So what do we do is we slow ourselves down. Really, sometimes we like, you know, a lot. We slow ourselves down a lot. Or sometimes completely, it holds us back. So this one thing could change your life completely. This, you know, one teaching, one principle that 
consider, I'm not saying trust everything I say, take what I'm saying, question it, challenge it, test it out in your life, and if it works, then you can use it. If it doesn't, then throw it away. Right, but consider that if you made shifts in your internal world, that it can have a ripple effect out into your external world. And as you're working on your inner you, the internal world, and you shift and you start to, you can say like upgrade, right? Like our devices, you know, there's always like an OS upgrade. These days it's just downloaded onto your thing. We're getting an upgrade. And as you upgrade, as an upgraded you shows up in the same situation, this same life that you're in, well, life has to respond to you differently. It's a different you. Maybe it's a non-reactive you. Maybe it's a more trusting you. Maybe it's a more open you. Maybe it's a more loving you. Maybe it's a more courageous you. A more powerful version of you shows up. So life has to respond to you differently. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to leave me a comment below or any questions you may have about the topic covered. And if you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when I upload my next video. Also, if you know someone who may benefit from this video, please hit share and share it with them. Lastly, I commend you for your commitment to growth and personal transformation. Here's to your epic awakened life. See you in my next video.